Why did Wisconsin Republicans oppose postponing the April 7 election despite COVID-19 shutting down nearly all polling places? After last-minute, party-line decisions by the U.S. and Wisconsin Supreme Courts, Wisconsin will hold the presidential primary and a hotly contested Supreme Court election tomorrow April 7, despite the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The state's Democratic governor has been pushing to delay the election and or extend the window for absentee ballot collection, but the Republican-controlled legislature have opposed both moves. In addition to the, the potential for voters to get infected while voting, the vast majority of polling sites have been closed due to a lack of volunteers, most of whom are usually retirees, to run them. The state has faced serious questions about its ability to run an election amid the pandemic. With poll workers quitting out of fears of contracting the virus, more than 100 municipalities have said they lack enough staff to run even one polling place. Milwaukee typically has about 180 sites. This election the city plans to have five open. The head of the State Elections Commission raised the possibility in court testimony that some voters may have to head to a different town on election day because no one will be staffing the polls in their hometowns. Wisconsin is set to vote on Tuesday after court overrules governor's postponement. The New York Times, why is the state Republican Party insisting on going forward with an election where most people will be unable to vote, even if they're willing to risk their lives and health to do so? Even if they don't consider the threat of COVID-19 to be significant, the closure of so many polling places guarantees that people will be denied the opportunity to vote. Republicans prevented this change because at the core it is beneficial to their electoral prospects. There are many layers to fully understanding this issue, but to address it in brief I think a few facts are sufficient. 1. The proportion of Republican voters is larger in rural areas than urban areas, see here. The dangers of COVID-19 are more pronounced in the current pandemic in the urban areas with high population densities. High-density areas such as New York City and other urban areas have seen a large number of cases of the COVID-19 disease. See here for an explanation of why this may happen. With this second fact it is reasonable to expect that populations in urban areas are less likely to turn out to vote. With the first fact this will benefit the Republican Party. This is likely to be something the Republican Party wishes to achieve because of a number of candidates on the ballot such as the Supreme Court seat on the ballot.